Corrado Malanga from the University of Pisa, and Filippo Biondi involved in radar and remote sensing research with the University of Strathclyde, published peer-reviewed research in 2022 via MDPI entitled Synthetic Aperture Radar Doppler Tomography Reveals Details of Undiscovered High-Resolution Internal Structure of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Their research was conducted using SAR data, Synthetic Aperture Radar, along with proprietary software developed by Filippo Biondi that transforms the radar signals into phononic information which allows for the detection of millimetric vibrations. This cutting-edge technology is capable of revealing underground structures invisible to traditional methods and revealed internal structures never seen before. Having established their expertise in using SAR to explore pyramid structures non-invasively, a recent press release on their current project was released last Saturday. This March 15th press release summarized the key findings in the team's research of the second largest pyramid of the Giza Plateau, known as the Khafre Pyramid. And what they found was astonishing. The analysis of dozens of tomographic SAR images obtained from different angles enabled the 3D reconstruction of inside the Pyramid of Khafre and deep beneath the surface of the plateau. Near the base of the pyramid, five identical structures are seen, connected by geometric pathways. Inside each of these are five horizontal levels and a sloping roof. Below these five structures are eight cylindrical structures, which appear to be vertical wells, hollow inside, and surrounded by descending spiral pathways. These eight vertically aligned cylindrical structures arranged in two parallel rows from north to south, descend to a depth of 648 meters, where they all merge into two large cubic structures, measuring approximately 80 meters per side. The entire structure extends approximately two kilometers beneath the surface and extends beneath all three pyramids of the Giza Plateau complex. Mainstream Egyptology tells us that the Giza pyramids were tombs for pharaohs Khufu, Khafre, and Menkure, and that they were built around 2500 BC using ramps, sledges, and levers. But the redundant mathematics in their construction, which include pi, the golden ratio, and the speed of light, along with the testimony of today's expert architects, suggests that the official story does not hold up. The massive underground structure revealed by the recent SAR data shows what appears to be a mechanical or functional system, and this has been hypothesized in the past. Nikola Tesla believed that the pyramids could harness Earth's natural frequencies. This arguably inspired his experiments in wireless energy transmission and scalar waves. In the Giza power plant, Christopher Dunn argued that the Great Pyramid was a power-generating machine using resonant and acoustic forces to convert mechanical stress into electricity. In the Giza Death Star, Joseph Farrell proposed that the Great Pyramid of Giza was a weapon of mass destruction using a type of physics that he calls paleophysics to focus energy as a scalar weapon. The cylindrical wells could be conduits for energy or sound waves, and the cubic structures might serve as energy storage or stabilization units, akin to components in a large-scale weapon or generator. And the detection of vibrations in the pyramid's internal structures reflects all of these ideas. The Khafre project hopes to plan an excavation in order to discover more about this underground structure, but history shows that this will be very difficult to get approval for. Greg Reese reporting.